What is up, YouTube fam? Thanks for joining me on Thursday, every day live at five. Let's get our Instagram fam on. Let me get my phone. I'm not sure if anybody's on. Um, Wink Inc. What's up? What's up? Thanks for joining. Big announce announcement today. Blue Flame third. Blue Flame 18. Four Bush. Mike Yo. Aaron Finkelstein, what is up? Rich Tracy and Pizzles in the house. Uh, Kenji Sun, 1967. Rob Boswell, what is up? Biohazard 51, what's up? Let's get our Instagram fan on. And Pizzle, if you could DM me later or let me know your name. I know I need to send you the uh, facsimile. Um, there's one facsimile left, and you were saying it was yours. I think it was. Home Skilly, what's up? Craig69, pimp with or without glasses. What is up? Eddie's mullet. All right. What's up, that Spider-Man Boo fam? Welcome to Everyday Live at 5. Oh, which your boy, JPG McFly. Oh, you mean John Paul. That's me where I get to update you. On everything, your friendly neighborhood, Spider-Man booth, uh, welcome. Today is Thursday. It's just a superior V7 update, but it's a huge update. I know you guys on YouTube get to see the thumbnail, so uh, you guys are probably know. Murder Crows, what's up? I see you on YouTube, Warlord. Shout out, shout out, Latin Collection, Markovich, 77, Samantha's in the house, Trigger, uh, Poppy, Timothy Robertson. What is up? What is up? Hello, hello, hello. Um, let's get it. Let's get to the, um, updates. Johnny five alive. I see you on YouTube. Um, Timothy Robertson. What's up? Bearded collector. You guys know update number one. I'm a little under the weather. Um, so if I sneeze or whatever. I apologize in advance. <laughs> Blue flame thir uh, 18. Yes. I, I am sick as economics in comics would say. Um, Update number one, www.thatspidermanboot.com. If you guys haven't purchased yet for the near mint, Spider Gwen, Go Spider GP allotment, go there now um, so it can make me happy <laughs> and get yourself a box today. Uh, www.thatspidermanboot.com. Really do appreciate all you guys' support. Uh, Cool. So that's update number one. But what you guys are all here for is really is update number two, uh, which is the superior V7 Grinch update. Uh, the new things we're adding today. Um, so the new thing on the superior V7 Grinch uh, GB that we're adding is the first appearance of Wolverine. The Incredible Hulk 180. So the first appearance of Wolverine uh, is going to be added to the GPs uh, for the Superior V7 Grinch. And that is open access Black Friday midnight. Uh, midnight. Uh, it's Eastern time. So it'll be 9 p.m. Thursday, Thanksgiving, uh, what uh, Pacific Standard Time. So very cool. First appearance of Wolverine. Um, and this is not a GP, but issue 182 is also going to be one of the stuff that you could get in the Grinch, uh, that releases Black Friday midnight Eastern time. So the first parent of Wolverine. TRD Pro running, but I may have to buy another one. Uh, and of course, there's so much argument on the first appearance of Wolverine. Uh, so we're going to announce it's almost like a double GP because Incredible Hulk 181 is also going to be a GP in this superior B7 Grinch. Uh, we just got this in the mail today, and it's a huge candidate for pressing. CBCS is notorious. Our graders gave it a 4.5 uh, if you can see the back, it's very dirty. They could fix the spine. Uh, so there's a huge candidate for uh, pressing. So both first appearances of Wolverine. I expect whoever gets the 4.5 should crack and press it. So there's no argument. Well, you can still argue which one's the first appearance. But we're putting them both in the box. 
Uh, so that is open access um, Black Friday, 12 a.m. Eastern time, which is midnight uh, and 9 p.m. Thursday, Thanksgiving for Pacific Standard Time. So that's a cool announcement. Uh, we've been waiting to do that one. Uh, and we'll keep having announcements. Uh, I think we're going to get you more excited. A couple couple more things should make you excited that we're saving. Uh, and I can't wait to show it to you guys. So that's update number two. Uh, hopefully we have the quickest sellout ever, I hope. All well, you guys got, got the early access link. Thank you guys for securing your box. Uh, cool. And update number three. This is going to be a real quick update today just because I'm so sick. Uh, get your tickets. Amazing Comic Con. Hawaii, we're ramping up. We're already preparing for that February 21st to the 23rd. You want to make a trip out to Hawaii. We're bringing photo by mom. We're bringing the whole team. We love Hawaii. Uh, and it's just an overall nice vacation. If you're planning to go to Hawaii next year, just go 21st to the 23rd. All right. So that's the thing number three. You guys know we keep things transparent. So the last part of the show is you guys always are open to questions, anything, concerns, anything that you guys uh, uh, want to know. And if I could give you the correct answer today, I could. Let me see. Hello, hello. Thank you guys for all joining. You're welcome, Music Beats. You're welcome, and thank you. Appreciate you. Rob Boswell, thanks so much. I appreciate you. Got that early access link. <laughs> TRD Pro Friend. I feel, thanks, man. I appreciate it. We are going to cut it a little short today. Craig69, I'm going to skip the V7, so I'm not saying to myself, wow, I could have had a V8. <laughs> That's pretty funny. V8. <laughs> That's from Craig69. Eddie Smollett put, what happened to trivia? Uh, Eddie Smollett, if you know that we're four to six weeks shipping, and uh, we cut out trivia Thursdays because it actually takes up a lot of my time that I could help cut down the shipping times. Uh, so hopefully when we cut down the shipping times to where we're, we like it more, which is more like one to three weeks, uh, rather than four to six weeks where it's been like it seems forever. Uh, we're going to cut down the stuff that uh, that we could cut down on to put more effort into the shipping. Markovich677 puts, anyone want to get me one of the V7s? I will love you forever. Anybody want to get Markovich77 a V7? Uh, DM him. <laughs> Rob Bessel puts, how many of the Spawn 300 and 301s did you get for the V7? Oh, we could go over some more of the stuff. So I'll go. That's a good question, Rob Boswell. Uh, so we got 20 of the 301s that are going in the V7s and 20 of the 300s. 20 of the 300, 20 of the 301s. Uh, but we could go over a bunch of stuff. Uh, you, only get, you have a chance to get a bunch of autographs, including Stan Lee autographs, uh, the Venom Gold you could get. Todd McFarlane, Malibu Sun. We always put a 300 in. Of course, you guys know the Alamos. I know I'm going quick. Got the Clayton Crane sketches. This one's signed by Todd McFarlane. Uh, we got Jim Lee autographs. There's a bunch here. I'll just show you what type one. Uh, and there's more announcements, too. Uh, Wink Inc. puts, damn, I should have bought more than one box on the pre-order link. Wink Inc., the pre-order link for you guys that got it is still open. We have a certain amount that we wanted to have the early access get. So yeah, that link actually still works. Let's see. I think there's more questions. Let's see. Be witness, my art puts, I know it's a mystery box. Well, what type of assurances is the V7 box will have when it comes to signatures, etc.? I got the V6 box and was not too unpressed. Be witness, my alert, you could DM us, show us what you got. Uh, maybe we could explain to you what you got and how we got it. Uh, but the, the link will have your chances at the mystery boxes. Of course, we're going big on certain ones. 
I like the Incredible Hulk 181. And so, of course, to get those huge prizes, uh, a lot of the boxes aren't going to, they're going to be at the 250 level. Timothy Roberts says, well, what would you price a Jim Lee one of a kind original area at? Original art? It depends. Timothy Robertson, he does remarks and he charges quite a bit for remarks. Uh, but then when you get the, to the published art, yeah, I mean, they go for 50,000, 100,000, depending on if you got one of the more famous ones. Riggins Wolf puts it's a mystery box. Not everyone will win, uh, get something they like. Yeah, it is a mystery box, but we are trying to get it up to that point where all of you guys like it. And of course, it is our first year online, and we're trying uh, to improve the box always and the set expectations of what you will get. So all this that you guys question, the things that you like, it helps us because uh, without you guys expressing what you like or what you dislike, we're not going to know what people mostly like, uh, and we're moving towards it. Uh, we find that people like the variants and the new covers a lot because they're pretty art, uh, and they do have the value there. Let's see. Hey, Markovich 67 put, hey, have you seen the new Transformer toys at Walmart? No, I have not. <laughs> Eddie Smallsett put, I keep complaining to the lotto that they still haven't let me win. Oh, I mean, Eddie Smallsett, you, could, you might win one day. You got to play. I, I do have a few uh, family friends that have won, like the lotto. Uh, not too close of like family friends, but they still are family friends. <laughs> so it's possible, even though it's Im seems like improbable, uh, it still is possible. Have a good one, crazy Ivan five one two. GM Grimes says any estimate on ship dates for orders placed on October twenty first. Yeah, it's probably going to be around November twenty first to two weeks after because the team is legitimately on four to six weeks. Uh, they're cutting down like a day at a time, but it's it's really in between that time. Thanks for the question, GM Grimes. Naz613 says, hi, DJ Matt Porter. The Max Life 19 puts, how long will it take for the V7 to ship? So it's going to be December 1st, and we're hoping we're going to try and get them all out on December uh, 1st. So we're going to prepare them all uh, and then just get them all out as long as UPS uh, lets us, uh, what do you call it, lets us drop it off. Sometimes we have a problem issue with supplies, but we're over ordering on supplies. So hopefully this is the one that we get them all out December 1st to the 4th or really quick. Uh, the last one we did with the B6 um, was definitely the quickest by far. Uh, because when we eliminated the t-shirts, the t-shirts took a lot of time uh, to put and match up the sizes. <laughs> TRW be for, for running puts, I'm hanging up and buying another. I just received three orders today, waiting for my son to come home, though. Thanks so much, TRD Pro for running. Appreciate you. Blue Flame uh, 18 puts, no USB this time. No, there's no USB. Usually when we make things, we like to make them things limited, uh, but uh, event, especially because, uh, how do you say it? You know, the whole thing is to keep things limited and otherwise it's not special, you know? Smoke weed, hail hydra, but what's the most superior boxes someone has bought at one time? Smoke weed, hail hydra, I think on our superior V1. I think someone bought 16 boxes. Alec, someone, Alec bought like 16 boxes on our superior V1. I believe that's the most, but I'm not sure. I, I don't like keep track, uh, but I do remember it because it was the first version. <laughs> Mass 613 puts my sign. TMNT is nice. Thank you. I have several boxes coming tomorrow. <laughs> well, there's a lot, a ton of comments.
Harris just said, whoever asked about shipping on October 21st, check your account online. Mine shows as fulfilled for that order. I think the 21st order is a huge order, though. I think I'd have to go back and check what the GP was. Smoke weed, hey, uh, Hydra, yeah. You know, usually when people buy that many boxes, it's because they got something really good in the first few boxes, and then they just like the boxes, and they like varying comics and stuff like that. So, yeah, with the, the boxes, you know, with the, the Incredible Hulk 181s, these other GPs that we're going to show, uh, you think to get hot, top heavy, we got to figure out how to make every hap everybody happy with the common boxes or the boxes that we make. And we've gotten much better at them. Uh, some people at first like hated them and now they're like, oh, it's okay or it's just okay. Well, we want to get to a point where it's like terrific, but we have to figure it out uh, because obviously people like different things. Um, people like sketches sometimes people like signatures and if you don't like signatures you get signatures you don't like sketches you you don't like sketches so we're trying to find a nice medium of what the general population will like <laughs> Go ahead and watch my boston chowder because how many do you sell on average boston chowder it's there's no like we don't have actually analytics for the, the boxes uh, yet, like the totals. We know each one that's sold, but like, if we do a 181, obviously sells a lot more boxes than if we sold a spider going ghost spider. Uh, but we don't have analytics on the averages yet. I could actually go in and tell you per one, I'll be like, oh, what's it called, sold this many. Um, but we don't have the analytics on those. Just Ali, if it's our superior V7 Grinch eligible for the next Monday's live at five up. I think we'll still have that early access link, Just Ali, open uh, during Insta Mondays on Monday uh, because we are not close to selling out of them yet. So uh, for the early access link. Blue Flame 18 puts, I love that spawn print on my V6. I already framed it. Thank you so much. Thank you. We appreciate you. Uh, those Todd, all the Todd stuff was crazy to get. The lines are crazy. The plane tickets are crazy. All that stuff is crazy. We're glad that you guys appreciate the stuff. Uh, hopefully we can pick the, the right product for you guys to like. Pinboy glasses, but I bought three superior boxes at Vegas. Thanks so much, Pimp. <laughs> Wink Inc. puts what are the chances you put that street level hero deck above your head in the boxes and there's zero chance Wink Inc. Those, those boards are limited to five uh, so if you guys were one of the ones that, that bought one at the conventions I appreciate you the, the four that got purchased that one's mine I got it signed by Tony Hawk so that one's not going anywhere. Um, be witness, my art put it would have be awesome if every box got a CGC graded comic. It doesn't have to be rare or super sense, but it would be a nice. Be witness, my my uh, art. We actually had that for one of the superiors, and we probably actually got more complaints because if you don't know Warren Lau or Natalie Sanders, and that's a hundred dollar book. Uh, people tend to like not like it because that's your big book. Um, so when we do big books, we want to do big books that you guys or most of you guys would, be, would know. You know. When the CGC Signature Series and those ones are expensive and we get, I don't know. That's why we're trying to pick, stick, uh, stick to the bigger names when it's your bigger book, like a Jim Lee, a, a Todd McFarlane, because we know you, at least you guys will appreciate that. It is something where we had a CGC in every single box. We had a Stan Lee signature in every single box before. Um, what else did we have? So we had like all these things, but sometimes when that's your big book, it's actually we got more complaints. So now we do it like the Jim Lee signatures 
Uh, and so we have a portion of them get CGCs, if that makes sense. Timothy Robertson put, what's your favorite Grail comic you have in your collection? I don't know. I just have a bunch of stuff. I like rare books. So I, most of you guys know that watch that the fiance only lets me have 10 comic books. And so I have like Akira 38. I have Malibu Sun 13, Spawn Error. Yeah, Riggins Fair and Wolf, so you can't please everyone. But we can try, you know, we, we really want to try to get all those boxes have value. Um, and in the future, we want to put exclusive content in there. Our Travel Comics is in the house. All right. So I think if I miss any of your comments, questions, you guys could just ask it again. What's your thoughts on the Crane Infinity Sig or whatever that Rainbow Sig is called? Rob Boswell, I absolutely love it. I love when the artists care for it and put a little bit of time in their signature, and that is definitely an awesome sig. And Tizzle puts, hey, JP, do you want me to email you again about the – yes, and Tizzle, email me. I'm a little bit under the weather, so I'll, I'll try and get it to get to it tomorrow morning. Hopefully, I'm feeling better. Eddie's Mullet, did you guys put together the Keras black boxes yesterday, last year? Uh, Eddie Smollett, no, we didn't. We do partner out with Keras Comics a lot. And those guys, those are our guys. Uh, you know, I live in Oceanside, and they're from San Diego. And you know, uh, New York Comic Con, where they were so kind to invite us. Uh, there and share the booth with them. So shout out Kara's comics. So Queen Hail Hydra, but shout out Arch Rival for that Spider-Man pl plug. Shout out Arch Rival for the Spider-Man plug. Oh yeah, yeah. Arch Rival has a. Uh, if they have some cool Spider-Man ones. If you go to Arch Rival Comics, um, on their uh, uh, profile page, he's got a not a lot of Spider-Man number ones for the Todd McFarlane signing i know because he sold a lot of them to us as well <laughs> we bought a lot of them harris jessup but any way to get the flash drive that was put in the harris jessup we do not have any more flash drives i'm not even sure if i kept one for myself harris jessup uh and uh, they all sold out uh, and then the ones we put in the v6s as well so those were limited to 100 i think and they're gone. We're, you know, we'll never make them again. If we do, we'll make a, a version two. So all you guys that got that USB, that's it. Rob Boswell, yeah, that definitely would be my centerpiece. Let's see. Pinboy Gossips, I like the Clayton Crane Color 6. If you ever get to meet him, he takes his time and respects the book when he says. Yeah, Pinboy Glasses, I think so too. Mark of a bitch, 677. How do you feel about setting up a trade system for the a trade system for the people that buy the mystery boxes that can trade amongst themselves to swap out for something? Mark of a bitch, 677. It's probably another community that I would have to build. I think there's already communities out there that you can do that. Um, but first, we have to systemize you guys getting the liking the product and liking everything. We're still not there yet, uh, but that is a pretty good option. And it, it, I think it is a pretty, pretty awesome if someone else did it. Um, yeah, this comics puts train me the huge Akira by our travel comics puts when's the Christmas party. So we, we need to uh, move because Frankenstein's is moving guys. You guys know that. And so after Frankenstein's moves and then we can, get you guys the details on the Christmas party and our Christmas party. We go all out. That's where most of you guys are mostly happy. I always, we always can't always please everyone, even though we're giving out a bunch of free stuff. Uh, but sometimes people don't win, they get sour, but it is the most, the happiest event that we throw, which is the Christmas party. Uh, all the dealers chip in, everyone chip in, chips in, there's food. Our travel comments, but it's lit. So if you guys are in Southern California, come to our Christmas party. Stay tuned for updates on that. It'll be pending all the way up to when it actually is. <laughs> our travel comic put at those people. <laughs> no way. It's sometimes it's people that we like a lot. <laughs> they just get sad that they don't win or mad. 
Uh, but sometimes they're some of our best customers. So it's just a natural human reaction. We have this full concentrate concentration game where if you uh, on the wall, if you pick two numbers, the back of it has uh, comic books on it. And if you match the comic books, you get the key that comic book. So I, I could see anyone gets frustrated with games. <laughs> Sup, Ram77. Aaron Ficklestein puts that too far away for me to attend the Christmas. Party. Yeah, it is pretty far. Table Glasses, but is a new location in San Diego or Los Angeles. It's still in LA. It's right down the street from the original Frankenstein's. Our travel comics, how can people be mad with all the free shit you give away? <laughs> I don't know. We... You know us, we always, we're always about, like, our Rival Comics has known us forever, and he knows we're always about experience. Uh, so, I don't know, I need to figure it out as well. <laughs> but it's still the, the best energy. Wouldn't you say, Alex? I don't know, sometimes people get mad for Szechuan sauce, so... They fight over Szechuan sauce. I could see them fighting over free comics as well. <laughs> it's just human nature. Mass 613 puts, we have fun. Thanks, Samantha. You have some of the best energy. You, Thomas Mano, I think uh, Mike Conlon came out. Sean, you guys just all had a blast. And you guys actually all won in the machine, even though you guys tried like a, a ton. But it was cool. You guys all won. <laughs> Our Tribal Comics does not exist without J.P. McFly and Photobomb. Our Tribal Comics, that's not completely true. Our, uh, our Tribal Comics, of course, used to be the Frightful Four. You guys know him. He's like world. They're like world famous now uh, doing the convention tour. Uh, but yeah, a lot. We, we just like to have fun. And our Tribal Comics is good too. Home skill, comic value question. I got an Infinity Guy one CG sign of Jim Starlin, Joe Rubisi. What's the value scale you think? Uh, what's the grade? Home skill it. And then you might, if you guys want to know for you guys yourselves, you guys have any friends, uh, GPA would probably be the best source for you to go on. Go on uh, GP analysis, just Google it with comics. Uh, and then it'll have a comp. 9.6 Jim Starlin, Joe Rubenstein signed last sale, 90 day average, um, year average. That's really the best way to do it. Fortnite Ian at the Christmas party. <laughs> no Fortnite. I'm not even sure we're gonna have Wi-Fi. <laughs> but I think uh, I think that's up for that's it for the hanging out and the updates. I think I have to rest tonight so I can be productive tomorrow and, and get some more of your guys' packages out. So you guys know our motto is see you soon. You guys show some love in the comments. See you soon. I'll show some love back. See you soon, Fist Comics. That's my boy, Art Rival Comics. <laughs> Air conditioning, though. <laughs> uh, see you soon, the main dude. See you soon, Mass 61 Trey. Appreciate you. See you soon, Rep Jeffrey Demas. See you soon, Markovich 677. Uh, see you soon, Scoob Events. See you soon, Crazy Ivan 512. See you soon, Home Skilly. See you soon, Rob Boswell. <laughs> Prayer. I'm, I'm just like a little bit sick, Roz. I'm not like super sick, but thanks. I appreciate you. Uh, see you soon, uh, Rich Tracy. See you soon, Boston Chowder. See you soon, End Pizzle. See you soon, uh, Aaron Frickelstein. Let's see. See you soon, TRD Pre. Four. Pro 4 running. Thanks, man. Appreciate you. See you soon. Riggins faring well. See you soon. Power 0047. See you soon. Drega Comic Chaos. See you soon. Pit with or without glasses. See you soon. Warlord Tenjisan 1967. Uh, see you soon, guys. Appreciate you guys. Ramp 77. See you soon. High five. Thanks for all the thumbs up. I appreciate you guys. High five for every day live at five. See you soon.